So one day I got an email from Girlhood Store asking if I'll be interested in checking out their Bluetooth speaker. And me, I was like, not a Bluetooth speaker, man. Ever since I made the review on the BenQ Bluetooth speaker, I told myself never again will I ever touch another Bluetooth speaker. But I decided, you know what? I should still take a look at the product before I say no to them. So I decided to take a look at the product to see what, I don't know, how does it look like? And my son who was sitting next to me at the time, when he saw that speaker, he's like, dad, man, I want that speaker. And me, I turned to my son and said, what are you talking about? I want that speaker. Now I got to commend them on taking their marketing really seriously. Now, if you go online, you're going to see some nice videos produced by them. But it's not just that. It's the fact that when I got that email from them, they signed as six. Man, I was so tempted to reply. Sure, I'll take a look at your Bluetooth speaker and sign seven of nine. So today, let's take a look at their Bluetooth speaker. So I don't usually talk about packaging, but take a look at this. This is so beautiful, really well made. You see, I can use it over and over again because this uh, is held together by a magnet. And the first thing you notice when you open up the box is that you're gonna see amazing artwork. As I said, they uh, spend a lot of time on marketing. So if you go online, you're gonna find some videos. And uh, I thought that it was pretty innovative. Now, if you look inside, you're gonna find a USB cable. The USB cable is a bit special because you have to plug it underneath the speaker to charge it. And then you have the manual and then you have the unit. So I'm just gonna quickly put the specs up here on the screen. I'm not gonna go over it. The two things that caught my eye is number one, it can last 10 hours. And number two, it's made of zinc alloy. Now, the first thing you'll notice when you take out of the box, and I, this I really like, it's made of zinc alloy, right? So it, there's a bit of weight to it. It doesn't feel like a toy. Well, it is a toy, but it doesn't feel like a cheap toy. And there's a lot of detail. I like the fact that you can get two of this and you can actually pair it together so that you get stereo instead of mono. So the unit is quite simple. It has four buttons. You got the on off, the pairing button, the volume up and volume down. Um, it has rubber feet, which is great because you can bring it everywhere around. You don't have to worry about scratching it. You know what I wish though? is that I can hack this unit. You see when you turn it on, it actually talks to you. Ready to pair. I wish that I can change it to Luke, I am your stereo. Well, or Thomas, I am your stereo. That would be so cool. Now, for those of you who are going like, Thomas, you know, how does it sound? So I can decide if I want to buy it or not. Dude, if you see this and you're shopping for a Bluetooth speaker and you don't want to buy it right away, then you're missing the point. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Like, what do you expect? You can't expect it to image well, have depth in the sound stage. Yes, you can pair two of them together. But if you're looking for something like with crazy bass, you go get a proper desktop speaker. That's not the point of the speaker. Okay, let's be fair now. I'm sure some of you would be like, okay, at least is it loud enough? Is it clear enough? Is it detail enough? Yeah, it is. It is loud enough to be usable. Okay, it's not gonna shake your room, it's not gonna pressurize your room, but for general use, for background music, absolutely, it can get loud enough. Does it have a lot of detail? Yeah, I mean, for a Bluetooth speaker, sure. Does it have a lot of bass? If you put it close to a wall, you get some bass. A lot of bass relative to its size. So overall, yeah, I mean, you're not gonna use it for critical listening, you're gonna use it for background music, good. You're gonna use it to play video games on your cell phone, good. You're gonna watch YouTube on your tablet with it, yeah, fine, because there's no lag. So it does sync up properly. And those are the few criteria I want from a speaker like this. So in short, if you want it for critical listening, you want it for audio file level listening, you get yourself a proper speaker. If you want something that is very versatile, you can carry this around. If you drop it and you scratch it, it actually adds to the charm. This is what it's for, a Bluetooth speaker, but a Bluetooth speaker style. 
Now, for me, I knew I wanted it the first second I saw it. It's because maybe I'm still a kid trapped in a man's body or something. But I like gadgets. I like cool toys. And I bet some of you will not only get it in one color, you're going to get it in four colors. If I was still younger and single, I'd probably get 12 of this, a dozen of it. Put it on my desk. Decorate it. Anyway, that's just me. So I'm going to wrap it up at this point. Did you know that they actually raised about $400,000 to build this thing? So I guess there are a lot of people like me who were into this kind of stuff. So to end the video, let me tell you a story then. So um, for those of you who don't follow me, I actually own a few hi-fi systems. Now, sometimes my system will be composed of all tubes, okay? And my wife works from home from time to time. And there are days where she'll ask me sometimes, Thomas, can you please turn on your stereo system so I can use it to listen to music? background music because she's working right and the time where it hurts me the most is when my system is all set up with tubes see sometimes solid state sometimes tubes because every time when i turn on my my system it's like i'm burning money tubes are expensive and the tubes i use are not cheap so the other day when my wife asked me thomas can you turn on your system i'm like you know what i got the perfect solution for you you're all about the music this is the perfect solution for you. So she took this, tried it, and she's like, yeah, I'm really happy with it. So thank you, Girl Star, for sending me this. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Ready to pair. Network connected. Resonate.